I'm Max, and the AI Sprint is officially over. It has been a wild 30 days. I did not anticipate this level of reaction, this level of results, this level of exhaustion. My mind has been blown the amount of times I was reacting like a little boy at just the true awe of what's possible today from a laptop, from tools that are free or, or very, very affordable. But if you compare to the, the Middle Ages, how many of us had like a metal fork compared to now, how many of us have access to something like a laptop that can run this stuff, right? Obviously not everyone can access this stuff right now, but I don't think there's ever been a time in history where this many people could access this much powerful technology to build solutions that could enrich their lives. Now that could be financially, that could be in time save, so truly inspiring a uh, bunch of days. What I want to do in this episode is run through some of the projects uh, that we did and encourage you to go check those out, duplicate them, flowgram them out, and most importantly, tweak them. I think all of these templates are going to be far cooler for your use case if you spend 30 minutes to a couple hours to make it your own. We had Email Spy, of course, the project I built with Oscar. We had the Flux Image Generator, which got quite some traction online. Let's see, we also had Professor Dr. Scientist, the most recent project from the AI Sprint, which took home second place at the Tech Berlin Hackathon at Factory Berlin. And those 26 teams competing at that contest, we were the only flowgrammers there. Everyone else was native code. And yeah, we got second place with that. I wasn't expecting that. Let's see, I gotta look at my notes. Like, I don't even remember. I was having a meeting with my boss, Luis, Luis Guzan. And he was like, what was that one project you did? I was like, bro, I have no idea. Oh yeah, with Oleg, we built the research paper. What is it? What did I call it? <laughs> right, the research paper summary assist. So it takes an academic topic, finds research papers relevant for that, summarizes them, outputs that. Didn't get as much fanfare, but great example if you're doing something similar across any domain or industry, right? Like search something, find relevant things in data sources that are searchable, and then summarize that so a human doesn't have to read through all the details. That sounds pretty generally useful to me. Let's see. Yeah, we have the Hey Siri AI agent template. I've gotten some DM from folks checking it out, get inspired, but I think there's way more scope to create automations off the top of that starter kit. I heard back from Devin Kearns. He's got some ideas cooking with his team on some of the use cases that they could ship and I'm really excited to see what they whip up. And then we, oh my God, how could I forget Starlens, the GitHub Profile Analyzer. It's a tool that shows you how to do some serious patterns, but in a, in a lighthearted approach. I've gotten a, a bit of critique also in some of the projects that they weren't very sort of B2B heavy and, and actionable. And I think that that's very valid and also deliberate for two reasons. Firstly, I'm trying to inspire you to set something up. Usually if you're working nine to five, you don't get the most agency to just go on a tangent for a day or half day and check something out because you've got like things you've committed to, right? And then also for a lot of business use cases, take that enterprise or something, even just to get access to the database is gonna be a whole thing. So it's not really viable that you can go be inspired by some enterprise ETL use case and go set it up, quote unquote. So the goal with these projects is that they're lighthearted, maybe something for your personal life, maybe something for work, but the idea is even the Flux image generator, like it helps you generate AI images, right? But what it does is it shows you the patterns on how you might route data, how you might use edit fields nodes in edit n to save static prompts and compile a static prompt before you send it to your LLM. We're gonna be doing a retro on the AI sprint to see if Max gets greenlit for another one or some kind of concept like this. I'm pretty confident that I will be given a mandate to continue in some kind of way. But I think it's really gonna depend on what happens in the next couple weeks with all the stuff that I've put out that really determines how much latitude I get, how much budget I get, to be honest, to do cool stuff, because cool stuff isn't always free. So in the least shilly way possible, go to the project board, look at the projects, find one project that you would think would be relevant for one person that you know, like actually relevant. Like don't go, don't go pollute people's inboxes, right? That, that's what like marketing teams are for, right? Go there, find one, and send it to them. 
because that's my real motivation. Like if you watch these vlogs, you saw the candid reaction moments that I had when I did something cool, when AI worked, when it was purring. And I was like, oh my God, I did it. That's the flow gramming feeling. This flow gramming thing, it's not just a marketing concept. Like I've been saying this term for years because to me it describes the feeling of being in the flow state of flow gramming that you can't always get from coding or at least not unless you're really proficient in it, which a lot of us aren't. So help someone set it up because if I can show the AI Sprint is inspiring people, which I'm getting some messages like that, the more than I can show that, the more latitude I'm gonna get to pitching some ideas that are a little wild. Now I'll tease two of them with you, but these are just ideas. And again, it's all gonna depend on how the Sprint success goes. Idea number one is being the first automation company in space. Check this out, right? You could put a CubeSat into space for about 50 Gs. Now that number might be stale, I looked that up a couple years ago, and I don't know about your neighborhood, but kebabs are definitely more expensive in my neighborhood. So it's probably more than that, but like a crowdfundable amount, right? So you could put a CubeSat into space. CubeSat's like about like that big, it's like a little cube, and you could put a Raspberry Pi in it. The cool thing about NNN is it runs on Raspberry Pi. So imagine if we like did the whole project, we'd probably have to like meet with scientists. Like I know there's an ISP in space, I looked it up. So like we crowdsource from the community, all the stuff we need to do to build a CubeSat and then we launched it. Being honest, I don't see any of our competitors doing that stuff soon. I wanna be first. And then on maybe something a bit more tangible, companies spend so much on influencers, right? Like this company's out here spending like 20 Gs, five minute video where they're very high level. They just do the one-on-one -on -one stuff. But it, it's a big shill, right? Like it's a big shill. I was talking with some community members, like really passionate folks doing some really powerful things with NNN, real motivated, ambitious ones. They're professional automators trying to create their own agency. They're founders trying to basically do the low code thing and ship with a small team. But imagine if we got some of those folks together, especially in winter in Europe. Like, guys, in Berlin, it is not fun here in winter. You're already seeing compared to the beginning of the sprint. You know, this is a little whack. But imagine we rented a cute little house in Greece, got a bunch of snacks and, and flew these folks out and filmed it and basically had a hack house for a week. You saw what me and Marcel did in one weekend. Imagine what four or five flow grammars together in one house, motivated with caffeine and free sponsored swag. Like, imagine what they could build. And I really think I could be in a position to facilitate things like that because my own motivation, I love connecting people, teaching people, creating energy between people. Cause I think it's like this really infectious thing. And I think it's, that's true with like positive or negative, create a bunch of negative energy that seeps in and everyone has a bad vibe. Same with positive. Obviously at NNN, we have to grow. We have to get more people using the software. The reason I have this role is I fundamentally believe it is a useful software that can help a lot of people, which is why I actually agreed to put my you know, camera on a face because I fundamentally believe there is a workflow that you should set up that is going to make you happy, that is going to solve a business problem, that is going to get you excited about technology and all the things that are available. Imagine this time next year, maybe we have a like YC, Y Combinator. I always thought the stuff they're doing is pretty cool. And you know what? I think if you gave a scrappy flow grammar with a lot of hustle, you gave him 10 grand, a place to live for two months, right, that's a lot less than YC. But you can do a lot more with flow gramming and, and low code than you can with the native code. I reckon if we did something like that, we'd have some pretty cool success stories out of that. And NNN is all about empowering people. So who knows? That's a pipe dream. The cool thing about pipe dreams is if you tell people about them, they can rally around it and we can make it happen. Anyways, end pipe dream. Oh wait, pipe dream is one of our competitors. Smart. Huh. I wonder if that happens to them all the time. Anyways, gang, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything and for the motivation on the sprint. If I wasn't doing this in public, 100% I would have quit a few times because I was just so damn exhausted. Like like on Sunday when I had to get up at 8 a.m., like on the 29th day, like I would hit snooze for real, for real, but not because of you guys. So thank you for this. Probably the best professional month of my life. Definitely the most fun. Oh no, the first, the first months at NNN when we were like a full person team, us against the world it was, it was pretty fun. But yeah, thank you for all your support. Go watch some videos, go build some flows. Go get inspired. And if you build something cool, obviously send it to me. Twitter, LinkedIn, 
sprint squad. I'm Max, you're the sprint squad. This has been one hell of a 30 days and I'll see you refreshed and recharged. Oh, and full disclosure, we may totally do one more video because I'm getting a lot of videos coming in from the community. And so if a bunch of people send me a loom and took the time to record their workflow, I'll stitch that together, do a little blah, blah, walk down the street and stitch it together. Thank you so much for your support. Keep track of me on my socials because as I said, we're gonna go to the drawing board, we're gonna get a little rest, we're gonna come up with a new concept. It's not gonna be the AI Sprint, but whatever it is, it's gonna be me, it's gonna be Flowgramming, it's gonna be the community, and it's gonna be awesome. So until we meet again, be well, Sprint Squad. All disrespects so I disregard fools, all of them be facades. And they're still in the streets and they're writing statements. Oh my lord, there's rats at the